trying to get him healthy this week, but to no avail. And right away, it's Dante Foreman right up that A gap has really improved. They were 92nd in the country in offense a year ago at this time. Dante. Monty Foreman, the twin brother, is flanked to the top of your screen. And again, it's a quick out taken in by Warwick. And Ja'Cory with a little room along the sidelines. On mixing the pass in the run. Warwick, against that soft coverage, he was juggling at that time, so it's incomplete. Gifted quarterback, but he will pop and get there eventually. Foreman, maybe a yard, and that's it. Ooh, nice little delay action to Foreman, but it did not fool Ty Summers. That's a good fool here. Ty really stayed home again and watched that lag draw action, and he got his nose in there and played it with leverage. Again, just enough to trip up an outstanding back who, if you give him a couple of inches, he will take it in 37 to get to 2,000. And here he goes. Nice shoestring tackle made defensive. Timmy, I lobby that we get the tearaway jerseys and put them in there, give them a shot to get it. <laughs> That's a shoestring tackle, but let me tell you, you need shoestrings, you need anything you can grab against this guy because he's got the big classic big guy. Over in that slot. And on the read, Bouchelle lets it fly, and it's caught by Dorian Leonard again. His strong to the boundary side. And it's Foreman right past the 18th and got the yard as needed for the first. Foreman beyond the 40 to the 41-yard line. Summers again making the tackle. He's going to be matched up against Foreman all day. Bouchel looking deep. Open. Nice concentration. It's caught. Devin Duvernay with the big grab. Foreman burrows inside the 10. Foreman again can get the first down without benefit of the touchdown. Bottom of your screen. With a miscommunication. Yeah, that was a busted play by the back of H and what happened to Charlie Strong a week ago. Hopefully we can unpack that. Foreman bounces off one, runs through another, and is just shy of help out. And with the carry that precedes this one, Foreman adds to his numbers, and he just passed Ricky with Bouchel. A little indecision that time from the freshman. Free. And that made their 41st, so they've now joined Clemson with that number as the Tigers await their next game. There's Bouchel. Game on television, as far as I'm concerned, regarding the stakes. Deontay for around midfield. Short side of the field. Watch you see him. He's going to keep that ball on the inside, which is atypical for him. He had a turnover last week, and again, he got the ball on the inside when you're trying to run up field. Foreman again, this time, using his speed to get to the edge. Now, you're seeing all of it. The N61 to get into the all-time record. Stopped for no gain that time by... Away from the numbers. And he runs straight up the middle with the best player on the field. And he, but he really stumbled. Yeah, it's not rocket science again. A starboard charge, a right side charge for TCU. And then Texas was able to run deep of the defense. We're going to see a steady diet of that. I had this guy's the one that's scary. There it is. To that side of the field. They want a flag for Monty Foreman. They're not going to get it. Down with Hill going six for six. But little else accomplished for the Horn Frog since. This guy's getting his numbers. Deontay Foreman talks it again ahead for a couple of yards. Minded guy. On second and a long six, that pass is wow. caught. It's Colin Johnson. And the young man. Opportunity to create one for himself doesn't focus on the integrity of the tackle. 23 yard pickup there, and Foreman answers. But you must put your head in front of him. Bouchelle. Nice. Looking for and finding Duvernay again. Away, 14 yards. Foreman bangs it right into the middle, and TCU knew what was coming back. Foreman right up the gut. This time about a yard shot. 20 carries, 94 yards. Nothing doing this time. They smell what the Longhorns were about going with Deontay. Tim, let's deal it off the edge. Huge play. Fourth down and one. It's Foreman. It's no signal. Not yet. 
Nico Small was there. I'm going to give it to him, but you take a look. Well, there's a lot of bodies underneath him. So he wasn't down with the whistle. Yeah, oh, you're not going to be able to tell there. Let's that's see, a, if there's no <laughs> whistle, that's touchdown. Yep. Watch from this angle right here, Spencer. Unless there's a whistle, this last lunge is touchdown. touchdown. At the nose of the wall, that's going to be a touchdown. Yep, that should be touchdown. Play. The really on the field stand wow. short of the goal line. See, I, I just, I, I'm sorry. Under and in the slot. Nice switch. There it is. They go for him. And it's incomplete. Yeah, he's at the slot left again. Foreman. He bulls his way down to the three-yard line. That's Foreman's 13th. Everything's swirling around this program right now. I think he's been adversely affected, as you see Foreman taking the first down. Yards and receiving. That tells me a little bit about the balance you're creating. Going for Monty Foreman, and that's going to be a flag. Tejada just from the 44. Nice Foreman, speed. and it's wide open for him. You've seen the strength. Now watch the speed. You guys like smoke through a keyhole. Watch this. Weaving, bobbing, seating that ball properly, and then putting that head back a defensive back. Down to the seven. Pressure off the backside, and it's Tejada atoning for the interference call with the play fake to Foreman for the corner, and Collins incomplete. Collins understand the context which he came in here. This team had no NFL players drafted that year, which is amazing. Deontay Foreman with a quality third and one. It's Foreman, and he's got the first down. Bouchel on the quick out. Gets it to Leonard. Second down and six. Foreman stopped at the line of scrimmage this time. Yeah, they need this conversion here on third and six. Wow. Uh, just again, I think that's tightness. It's coming back, at least for now. They roll him out. He got pressure yep. and wisely got to the ground. Heavy duty pro run game, and then to keep him honest, take a shot occasionally. You got to be careful with that. That's a yeah, dangerous throw. That, right and that's there. the one he's been comfortable yeah. throwing. Yeah. The but they're not getting much done with crossing patterns and slants and that kind of thing. Everything's been towards the boundary, and Foreman has stopped in his tracks. By Ty Summers. Yeah, but what I'm noticing is TCU is starting to squat on those out routes, particularly the ones to the long side of the field. You've got to be really careful. You can read numbers, but you have to, even as a freshman, read the coverage. A single safety look saying, dare you to beat us. That's the pass we're talking about. It's incomplete. It was a quick curl, but thrown towards the sea. There's that out pattern that's been dangerous, as you mentioned, Spencer. Afternoon, a little tentative. 11 of 24 now. Uh, that coverage is too ironclad. It's too tight. And predictable. This offense has been looking for anything to go well with their much maligned defense. Deontay Foreman gets it out to the 26-yard line. James In the second half for Texas. Bouchelle again under a lot of pressure. Let's it fly incomplete. Mm. Here now, they don't have to. They're not threatened. But earlier in the game, when the game was tighter, those back half bodies you talked about were in the face. A lot of 15-yard gain. On first down. Again, pressure off the edge. Mm. And Bouchelle just throws it away. Had to heave it. Yep. Into the pregame for this matchup. And there you see on that slant, nothing doing. Pass was thrown a bit low. I think the carryover from a disastrous performance against Kansas for Bouchelle, he's not been able to get rid of it. Marker's down as he throws it deep, and it is caught by Warwick inside the 10. But we've got a full again in today's game. Bouchelle on the curl, gets it ahead to the 45-yard line to Oliver again. Yeah, on the development. They should be snapping that ball out of there every single play, but they're just not there yet. No. The maturity level's not there. It's respected as collegial, not professional. Well, I think to a larger degree than any other place I've been this year, these players have bonded with, particularly for the bulk of the kids that are on this team, has beyond the field. You better think twice about it before you start loosening and creating a context where it's difficult.